So go back to your question about genetics. There's no gene for addictions. I don't care what they tell you. What they are, there are some genes that make it more likely that you might become addicted, but they don't cause addiction as such. In fact, the addictions have nothing to do with, sorry, the genes have nothing to do with addictions at all. Now you say, well, how come? You know, my father was an alcoholic, my grandfather was an alcoholic, I'm an alcoholic. It's not the gene that's passed on, it's the trauma that's passed on. Because what's it like to grow up in a home with alcoholism? Now, there are some genes that make some kids more prone to have mental health conditions and addictions and so on. But there's no gene that causes any specific illness, or sorry, any specific mental health illness, any specific uh, addiction. What there are is a large group of genes that the more of them you have, the more likely you are to have any mental health conditions, including addictions. But you can have those same genes and be a perfectly happy, successful, joyful, creative person depending on how the environment acts on those genes. Which means that the genes are not for disease, they're for sensitivity. And the more sensitive you are, when things go well, the happier you are. When things go badly, the more unhappy you are, the more pain you have, the more you have to run away from pain, and that's where the addiction comes in. So the genes are not for addiction as such, and most of my profession gets this completely wrong. So, yes, there's a genetic position, not to addiction as such, but to either joy or suffering, depending on what the environment does when it acts on you.